So I'm working on my Christmas light controller box. And I figured I'd show y'all what all goes into building it. Maybe you can build one of your own. Save a little bit of money. Make you a nice little Christmas light display in your yard. Now it's a fairly lengthy process. It's not real long. It just depends on how how many channels you want to control of your lights. Um I'm controlling mine with a Arduino, this Arduino Mega 2560. You can control 54 strands of lights, and each strand of lights can contain hundreds of lights. So the possibilities are pretty endless. You can actually add more onto these. I haven't got that far in depth with them. There's other ways of doing this. You can use pixels, which is another type of LED that you can change the colors on. I'm just going for a basic LED setup. Uh, this is kind of my second year using this process, but this year I'm going with more channels. I'm going to use 52 channels. And I'll get to why I'm not going to use 54 later on video. I'm going to break this up into a couple of videos, each section, so you can kind of follow along, build it as you go. It won't make such a long video. But like I said, these are just some of the basic things you're going to need. Um, a little small screwdriver. A good pair of weather uh, wire strippers. Um, screwdriver, a bigger screwdriver with a number two bit on it. You'll need some of these. These are Wagyu or Wagyu connectors. These are the six connectors. Got six spots in it. You're going to need some wire, electrical wire. Now I'm using 14 gauge wire, which is almost, almost what you use in your house. Your house is a 12 gauge, a little bit thicker wire. I'm going with 14 for two reasons. I'll get that later on. Uh, you can buy these wires separately for each color. You need a black, a white, and a ground. I chose to get just a big roll of house wire of 14-3, which is three wires, a black, the white, and a ground. And then just separate them out. Save me a little bit of money. Cost me a little bit of time, but it wasn't a big deal. You're going to need an Arduino. You can use Arduino Uno, which is a smaller version of this. Or you can use the Mega. The Mega holds more channels. That's what I chose to use. Works out good. These are about eh, less than $10 off eBay. These are not the legit Arduino. These are the copies. You know, as you see, there's nowhere on there. It says Arduino. It's open source. No copyright thing. So on and so forth. Little microprocessor in there. You program it via computer. We'll get to that later on. This is just a brief overview of what you're going to need. Uh, this is your standard size uh, house receptacles. They are about 65, 75 cents a piece, or you can buy them in bulk. Boxes like this, you can save about 10, 15 cents each. So you save about a buck and a half, maybe round figures with that. You're going to need a relay board. These are solid state relay boards. These are a little bit the newer style relays versus the old boxes that click and clack. These last longer, a little bit more sturdier, so on and so forth. Smaller. Uh, footprint now depending on how many channels of lights you want to control is depending on how many channels of relays you need so I'm doing 52 channels so I have uh, six of these and then a four channel which gives me you know my 52 you can control one they have two channels four channels and eight channels um, these are about $10 a piece off Amazon. I mean, off eBay. They got on Amazon too. A little bit more on Amazon. Um, if you get them off eBay, they're going to take about two, three weeks to get to you from China. So if you want to do this, go ahead and order them now. Same thing with these. You can get these from uh, United States sellers. They're a little bit more for United States sellers off eBay. Like everything else, no big deal. But you get it quicker. These, you can get them from United States sellers. They're, eh, they're kind of spots you here and there where you can get them at. But they're few to have them. You're going to pay a lot more, though, for them on American sellers. And you're going to need uh, electrical boxes. This is a four-gang box. It holds four receptacles. One, two, three, four. Now, this box, even though it's going to hold four receptacles, it's actually going to control eight separate channels hence why i have the eight channel relay boards we'll get to that in a little bit later on 
like I said, this is just a real quick brief overview of how to, I'm going to get started. And then each video afterwards is going to go a little more in detail. There's a way you wire these sockets up that you can control each one separately instead of one at the same time. It's really simple. Um, these boxes right here are about $7, 6 $7, maybe seven fifty. I haven't priced them in a while. I got these a while back. Um, they're quite expensive for what they are, but they work. Now, this is what's called a old construction box. They have old construction and new construction. You definitely want to get the old construction. The difference is... The old construction boxes have these little wings that come out on top and bottom. Whenever you put it inside of a wall, your sheetrock goes in here. You slide it in there, your sheetrock sits against these little flanges. You got these screws here. When the screws tighten down, these wings come in and grab hold of the sheetrock. Now that's going to be um, helpful because we're going to use plywood for our, quote, sheetrock in the box we're going to build. That's another subject. Whereas your new construction boxes have a nail on here and on this end you just nail them into your stud and then you come back and you know do all your sheetrock and finishing work blah 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 not gonna get into all that so this is just a little bit brief overview there's also a couple other things you're gonna need i'll go along i'll go into those later on in the process as i get to it um Building these boxes like this takes about an hour each, roughly. Um, your first one's going to take you longer because it's a little bit learning curve. I'm going to try to do this simplified and speedy process because I know you don't want to watch the real long videos on how to do this. And this video is getting a little bit longer already. So, y'all stick with me and uh, we're going to get started with... Uh, I'll show you how to wire up these receptacles.